Hey y'all, uh, hey cousins. How you guys on this beautiful day? I don't know what today is, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie to you, but I do know what time it is. It is three something. And I'm at the park with the kids. My one of my sons is on his way walking to me. Why I don't know. It look like he crying. Anyway, I'm finna find out though. Oh, maybe he ain't crying. No, he ain't crying. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what the fuck he want. What's up, baby? What? Mommy? Yes? Um, have time to change again? Because the mommy said, um, the, the, the sun is supposed to go down really easy, but it's not going down really easy. It's coming down in about an hour. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I told them about the time change and then how we had to get to the park early. So we had to come on. So I've been to the park about two hours, maybe. And, um, yeah, so I just want to show my y'all my little outfit. Okay, the little pants with the jacket with the little black shirt. And I got a pink bra on because my husband had bought this bra for me, y'all, for my birthday. From the Wynn Hotel. He got me a couple of bras and panties to match. And I never wore it. And I've been wearing, you guys ever got, like, a comfortable bra you wear? I've been wearing my comfortable bra but it's so comfortable it make my titties don't sit up you know what i'm saying they they the, they in the bra but they they not sitting up you feel me so i said you know what i want my titties to kind of sit up a little bit <clears throat> so yeah y'all i got my little burberry outfit my little burberry purse okay my little backpack with the little wallet in the inside of it where did my wallet go right there so and i'm in my wagon y'all i'm in a i'm in my wagon at the park with the children with the children y'all i always tell you guys if y'all got kids let them go to a park let them go in the backyard let them go in the front yard let them you know let them have some air kids need air okay and um i got a pool and i don't have a cover over my pool so i don't let them play in the backyard even though i would love to let them play in that backyard because i hate coming to the parks i ain't gonna say i hate it but you know people that got a house normally don't need to go to the park because they can just play in the backyard but i don't have a cover over my pool or a gate and when they do go out there I, they have to wear their swim coat and that's kind of uncomfortable so they don't like going out out there and you know i believe i can trust them not to go by the pool but you know worse come to work i don't I, you know i just can't and my pool only go to six feet but still they can't swim i can't swim my husband can swim but um so yeah so anyways guys when i leave here i'm going to walmart I'm going to Walmart. Okay. I got to load a card up because I got to pay like a bill. And I've been having to pay this bill. Well, I got into the 20 something to pay the bill, but I like paying my bills ahead of time. And I need it on my debit. And I haven't feel like loading my card up. Like, who feels like doing that? Okay. Who feels like being in line at the money center loading your card up? I don't feel like doing that. No, we finna leave in a minute, okay? Okay. You want something to drink? Huh? I just, huh? You want something to drink or you good? Yeah. Here. You got your drink? You got your drink right? Is this your drink right here? Huh? There's your drink in the back, right? Yeah, I know we had to go buy Taco Bell. The kids have Taco Bell for lunch and they love this. Yeah. It's really good. Here. I got me one too, y'all. That's that uh dragon fruit. Where'd he go? Yeah. That's that dragon fruit drink, y'all icy slushy thing happy hour they only a dollar so half of my kids wanted taco bell and she was wanted a burger so i took them to get a burger and taco and then we hurry up and got up put our uh, put our clothes on with coats and hood uh, and beanies and shit because i ain't got time for nobody getting cold it's a lot of kids out here today, too. A nice amount. Mm hmm You guys, I had a beautiful day. As always. 
I listen to my word. It's always good to pray before you step out the house. Because all type of shit is outside. You know what I'm saying? So, I always like to pray. You know, get grounded, get centered. Um, before I leave the house. Because, you know... It, it protects my me. It protects me because anything can go bad. And if I ain't prayed, it'll go ten times worse than what it could have normally been. So, yes, daughter. Hey, 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 the car. We'll be leaving in a minute. Bye. It's okay. not time yet. Almost. You know what pisses me off, y'all? Let me tell you. They must not feel it today. Usually, we go to the park and I can't get them in my car. Okay? I cannot get them to leave the park. Or sometimes when I can't make it to the park because night have hit us, they be all frustrated. Now, I didn't got up, prepare myself, hurry up and prayed and did everything, got on dress, put gas in my car, and got us here before time. And now they ready to go. And they even, they look, y'all, it's still daylight. Look, it ain't even, it, it ain't even really, you know, put a tent in the sky yet. And I don't understand kids. They worry you when you can't do it. And then when you can do it, they, they, ugh. Lord have mercy, y'all. So, anywho, um, I cannot wait till I get my hair done, y'all. I'm so tired of wearing this. And really, I can wet it up and do all that. I was supposed to dye it. I ain't dyed it. But Thanksgiving is coming, so I need to really, you know, figure it on out. But, um... Yeah, so I like praying before I step out in the world, you know. And I was listening to T.D. Jakes this morning, and you know, it was a good, it was a good message. It really was. Um, all about focusing and regrouping, and you know, all that good stuff. So I felt powerful. I felt great. Um. I'm just thinking, like, what it is that I want to do, what I want to be. But let me say this, y'all. Let me just say this, because I do got something to say. I wasn't going to talk about it right now, because I really don't feel like talking about it right now. But who knows? Let's talk about it. Hopefully my phone don't trip. It always be tripping. Hopefully it don't. I need to go to T-Mobile. I really do. I don't like going there either. I hate when it's a problem. I hate fixing problems. You know, I just want shit to go smoothly. My goodness. I'm always um, let, uh, lighting, um, putting out fires. You know, like, goddamn. If it's a fire here, I got to put this out. Put that fire out. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, you know what irritates me? I'm going to tell y'all what irritates me. What really get me going. It irritates me. Like, this is what people do to irritate me. Right, I'm going to give you an example. I'm just role playing right now. This has nothing to do with me right now. I'm going to tell you what, what do have to do with me, but this this ain't it. So, I'm just going to make an example. Hey, girl. Um, How you doing? Oh, girl, I'm doing good, but I don't know how I'm going to pay this bill. You know, this bill is due, and I don't know how I'm going to pay this bill, girl. Oh, well... Won't you go suck dick, you know, or won't you go fuck with Earl, or won't you go sell your jewelry, or this, that, and the other. Like, you, like, basically what I'm saying is people, when you, when, they, when you tell them that you got any type of financial issue or whatever, people will tell you what you need to do in your household and what you can do, but not tell you what can they do to help you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, bitch, you think I don't know I, I can suck Earl dick? Or you, bitch, you don't, you don't think I know I can pawn my own shit? Bitch, I don't need you to help me uh, with your eyes and what's in my house or in my life that I need to get rid of. What you could say is either you could help me or shut the fuck up and don't even ask me how I'm doing. It's that simple. You know, that really irritates me. That irritates me. I know what I know what I can do. I know what the fuck is valuable, what ain't valuable. I know all that. What I don't know is if your ass can help me and is willing to help me. And what what gets me going though is this. First of all, what makes you think that I can't see what the fuck I need to see to get out my hole? That's number one. 
Number two, before people will help you, they will they wanna they wanna ask a, around the shit. What did you call your mama? Or did you do this? Or did you do that? Bitch. It's either yeah you can help me or no you can't. I don't need I don't need all of that. I don't need all that. And I'm one person that never did that. If someone said they needed something or whatever the case may be, I'm gonna give it if I got it, I'm gonna give it to you. I don't need to know the backstory. I don't need to know, well, did you go do that first? Did you try that first? Who the fuck are you? Either you got it and give it to me. If you don't, then get the fuck on somewhere. Don't fuck with me. <clears throat> Point in case. Um now I need a, a income. Right? Now, instead of someone telling me, okay, let me, let me just say it, fuck it, because I don't know how to beat around the bush. My grandmother, she calling me, like, are you selling your car? Are you, what? Am I selling my bins? Why? Why would I sell, why, why the fuck will I sell my bins right now? I don't need $100,000 right now. I don't need a hundred and twenty thousand, forty thousand. I don't need none of that right now. You know what I'm saying? I just need that stable income right now. But I don't need no maid. You know what I'm saying? I would only sell my car, number one, if I truly had to. And it would be like uh, if my pipes broke in my house, and you know what I'm saying? Some th some serious shit. Period. I, that's the only time I was ever put my car up. But. To pay light bill, I'm not putting my fucking car up. Are you stupid? But my thing is, you own a business and you know how to get patience. You got a whole system where you can tell me or you can give me some patience. Now, you know, tell me in your resources what can you do to help me. Don't ask me about my motherfucking resources. I know what the fuck my resources is and what I need to do. And if it come to worse, and I don't need no motherfucking body in my house helping me. I need you to look in your house and see what you got for me. If you got anything for me, are you willing to do it? If not, shut the fuck up. If not, shut the fuck up then. But if you're not willing to help me, I don't need you to, in your house, don't tell me what the fuck I need to do in my house. Don't tell me none of that. And, and, and people will help you get rid of all your shit. Knowing they know how to make another way. Black people. A Mexican, we wouldn't have these issues. So, it made me, it really irritated me. It really irritated me. Don't look at shit I got and tell me what I need to give up. You don't know what, what, you don't know. What I need and what I don't need. My bins ain't did nothing to nobody. Everybody trying to get rid of my bins. Why? Why? Why do everybody want to get rid of my bins? Why? It's, it, I mean, you just want to see a black person have something that was that that cost a whole five bedroom house, that cost a whole life a life. And give it up. To me, that's all it's, That's all it represents. Is somebody want to see me give up something that they could never accomplish. And that's sad. Don't call me. Don't talk to me about what the fuck is in my house and what I need to give up and what I could give up. Don't, don't. I know what the fuck I can give up or need to give up. Won't you tell me in your house what can you do for me? If you can do anything. If you not. If you can't, cool. If you can, great. I don't need an extra set of motherfucking eyes on, on, on my shit. I don't need that. I don't. That's what I don't need. What I do need is whatever resources that you know. Whatever you can bring to the table. Whatever you think. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, you know, if you heard something in the streets. You kick it around professional people and business people. You know how to get this, that, and the third. Hey, um... Uh, maybe, maybe open up a group home. Maybe open up a foster home real quick out there in Vegas. Or whatever the fuck. But don't motherfucking tell me to start selling my shit off. Like, this is why black people can't make it and stay making it. Because even if they 
and, and, and the thing is, it's like you, they act like they gave me the money. Like, I can't make a mistake with my own money. I can motherfucking make a mistake with my own. It's mine. It ain't yours. It's mine. People just be... Ugh. Irking. Irking. So I had to really get to God. Because I really, you know, did something to my spirit. It irritated me. But I, t I told her, I'm like, won't you give me a patient? Okay? How about that? Won't you do that? Won't you give me a motherfucking loan to sustain me for a couple of months and so I can and so I can figure everything out? How about that? How about you look in your own motherfucking house and see how you can help me if you're willing to help me? But what I don't need is nobody looking in my motherfucking house and telling me what's to go, uh, go, stay, sell. This ain't that type of party. You know what I'm saying?